Um, Another young man, we need to speak about that. We talked about it before on the show a little over a year ago in terms of some possible demons. Uh, Kellen Winslow Jr. Mm. Uh, um, He's been accused of some very disable things. And uh, he he accepted a plea deal, 14 in prison. Again, there's a follow-up. I, I don't remember exactly, but we had we actually talked about this topic, I want to say about a year and a half ago, maybe a little over a year ago. But then I know it was before tempo. the pandemic hit. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, Trip, what were your thoughts when you heard this? And uh, you know, take it away from there. What, what were you thinking? Um, I mean, accountability. That's what I was thinking. Accountability, you know. He did, he did what he did, and, you know, unfortunately, what he did can't be undone. You know, the, 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 those victims have to live with that for the rest of their lives. Their families have to live with that, their friends. And then also he has to live with that for the rest of his life. Um, you know, so, and that, that's just basically where, where I'm at with it. He took that he, 14 years, you know, and I'm a person... I don't wish death. I don't wish jail on nobody because I understand, you know what I'm saying, what that's like, you know, but at the same time, the age old adage, you do the crime, you got to, you know, you got to do the time that comes with that. And this is him, you know, taking that accountability. So I hope, you know, for his sake that in these 14 years, some positive can come out of that. He can turn his life around, you know, whatever. I also hope that this gives closure to the victims, their family and, and their friends and people that have had to, to have this looming because it's, 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 it's one thing going through that and having that and having something that horrific done to you, but to have to relive that going through a child, that is, can be such a mental toll on everybody involved. So I, I just hope that this gives closure to the people that are involved. I know it's still going to take a while for, you know, to, to, I guess to, to, for ultimate healing, but I hope this is a start. I agree. I hope it's the first step in rehabilitation for them. And for, for you young guys and young women out there that watch the show and listen to us, I know you've heard the phrase, there's nothing worse than, than lost potential or wasted talent. And for those of you that may be too young that didn't know his game or never saw him, this is the epitome of that. Because, you know, Trip, you know, we, we both knew this guy coming out of college. Yep. And, and the world was literally his oyster. He was set to be the next great tight end in the league. High first round pick. I believe he went sixth overall to, to the Browns. Fast, and athletic, strong. Had him on all my Madden he was, teams. He was, he was Travis Kelsey before Travis Kelsey. Yes. He, wasn't the physical, he wasn't the physical beast that Gronk is. Yeah, he was in terms of... Yeah, in terms of skill, in terms of skill, he was almost a cross between like an Evan Ingram and a Travis Kelsey. Super fast, but a big dude, great hands, could do it all on the field. And it just started to spiral out of control from for him very early in his career. And even after his career, has continued to spiral out of control. So I hope this is, like you said, the first step accountability. And now let's, let's rehabilitate and, and make sure you're a better man when you come out of this than when you went into it. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ. And you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real 